I think I was very concerned that I was going to lose John if I didn't do something quickly. You know, it's kind of funny, some people do not understand sometimes because actually John didn't understand how serious the situation was. Either this is just going to go away or it's going to kill me one or the other. In 2004, I competed in the Mr. North American Championships and did very well. Uh, I ended up in fourth place. It's a pro qualifier, so uh, top guys in the country. And I uh, was the best, at that time, the best I think I'd ever dieted. Uh, I felt great. Um, things were going really well. Um, my, my job was going well at the bank. A lot of good things were happening uh, at that point in our life. I'm walking around the block, which is about a half mile in my neighborhood, and I notice I start feeling some pain in my stomach. Um, it's, a, it's a light pain, it's nothing real bad, but uh, the bottom line is, and so I had to use, it felt, it felt like I had to use the restroom, kind of. Um, so, you know, this pain is, is I, as the week went on and the next week just gradually intensified. And it was, it was something that, you know, when you're dieting, you're eating, eating a lot of protein. You know, hey, maybe I'm not eating enough fiber. So, you know, maybe that's causing it. At this point, it didn't seem like something real serious. I was eating a lot of orange roughy, so I'm thinking maybe it's the oil that's in the orange roughy. There's an indigestible fat uh, in the oil that kind of just passes right through your body. And I thought maybe that's kind of irritating. So I took the orange roughy out of my diet, went more to chicken, and uh, nothing changed. It just kept getting a little worse, a little worse, and a little worse. I remember John he was having some troubles with his stomach, and I saw him at least four times, at least two weeks prior to the show, in which, in which, he, in which he was having cramps affecting his stomach, a little bit bloated, no other, no other problems, a little bit of diarrhea on and off, uh, but he was still tight and looking good. I saw him two days before he was leaving to the show, and he was 227 at that time. At that point, uh, the, the, I, I thought that it, the pain had pretty well peaked. Um, I was at the point where I really couldn't eat much at all. So I was eating very, very small portions of food. You know, my, my normal six, eight, 10 ounce portion of protein would be two ounces. My normal cup of oatmeal would be a fourth of a cup. Really, really small portions of food. And even at those portions, still my stomach would swell up. It was very painful and those spasms just would not go away. You know, I'm out in California, I'm a little scared because, um, you know, I feel like I'm kind of alone out there and my, my doctor's back here, so I continue to call him. And, you know, he, so we, we go through my diet again, we're going through everything with a fine tooth comb. And he, he thinks maybe you have mercury poisoning. You know, maybe all that fish you were eating earlier just brought your mercury levels up to a toxic state. The same day of the show, we usually he would usually call me and let me know how he's doing. But that day he called me and he said, you know, Eric, I'm calling you for another reason. I don't feel good. I'm having a lot of cramping pain. I feel like nauseated, diarrhea I'm having on and off. I've been trying to drink lots of water, but I'm not keeping it down. And I said, well, John, you know, you've gone this far. You want to do it anyway. You're not going to stop. Even though I asked you, because I remember I was asking John, you know, let's not do it, let's wait. Let's see, make sure you're doing okay. I said, no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna do it, I'm not gonna stop. I, I do the Mr. Los Angeles, um, felt absolutely horrible. It was probably the worst I've ever felt for a show. And uh, we stayed out there uh, for that week. And then the following week was the Mr. USA in Las Vegas. 
We hopped on a plane, flew to Vegas, and, and at that point, it was literally just every day was just, man, let me let me just make it through the day. I, I just want to make it through the day, get through the show, get home, because I, I really felt like once the stress was removed of the dieting and the competing, I really felt like I would get I would get better. Mr. USA, there was you know somewhere between 38 and 42 guys in my class. It's an awesome show. It's a tough show. And he called me right after the first part of the show and he said, you know, I had a little bit of blood on my stool, but I don't think it's bad. I want to finish the show. So I did place. I had lost 10, 15 pounds the last two weeks for not eating and um, physically just w wasn't what I could have been. Well, by the end of the show, he lost four to seven pounds already. And uh, he called me again and he told me, I got to come back. I'm going back. I'm not going to wait for the pictures. I'm going to wait. I don't even find out if I won or not. I gotta go back home. Sunday I'm on a plane and I'm headed back to Columbus. I remember when I saw John that morning, it was something, I'm used to seeing him dry and massive and he was actually dry, but he looked kind of emaciated, like a dead look. Um, he did some more blood work and we did find that my mercury levels at that point were toxic. They were right on the outskirts of the, the highest level before it's toxic. And if you remember, I had stopped eating fish around that uh, month or two out point. We were talking earlier about, about me removing fish, thinking that might have been the culprit. So in a way, I'm thinking, hey, we've, we've isolated this. We know what it was. Maybe it was just some really bad reactions to a lot of mercury that had built up in my body. So we treated that. Um, they actually uh, put me on all kinds of IVs, some hydration IVs, and then some you know, powerful amino acids and some, some other things to make me feel better. And um, they, so they sent me home. And uh, I fully expected at that point to start getting better. Um, that, was, that was a Monday, but as the week went by, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, those stabbing pains that I was having in my stomach really, really intensified, and they got to the point where they were happening every 15 minutes. I could literally look at my watch and tell when they were coming. Um, and and I, I can't remember if it was three or four, but I, I mean, the spasms, I actually knew exactly how many I'd get. I knew exactly when they would happen. He came back and he was still sick. Now he's told me, you know, I have blood on my stool. I started trying to give him IV fluids. It was so bad, he was in so much pain that I said, enough. I, and I remember giving him on my office, uh, I think I gave him six liters of fluid in my office and then I said, I give you pain medication, still not going away the pain. You have blood on the stool. I call a specialist in this time, it was Dr. Patty. I think I was very concerned that I was going to lose John if I didn't do something quickly. 